So, good day everyone, it's your host Carla on the mic. Welcome to Deep Thinkers Corner, a series where you and I talk about all possible stuff you and I might think of as interesting. Of course, combined with nerdy stuff like manga, anime, music, and even poetry. So, a warm welcome to episode 6. I am so sorry that I had not uploaded a an episode in a long time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so hey guys, let's go uh, grab a cold or warm beverage, maybe a nice cup of tea or some coffee because today's episode is just more of me giving you guys an update on my life. So no real thing going on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry, need to move a little bit. <laughs> so, um... First of all, I was, and I'm still kind of current, currently taking a minor break from home writing, or generally writing, but I must say I've been writing on my script a little bit lately, so, wow. It is funny how I always say, hey, I'm going on a hiatus, I'm taking a break, but in the end I still end up writing. So, actually... The break was supposed for me to to be able to focus on university and also to like edit my previous script <laughs> also and like not also um but I also wanted to take this break just because I was scared to low key run into the danger of tiring myself out. And almost burning myself out. I just couldn't really write any proper poems anymore. Which got better. It got better again. But I'm still not sure if I'm going to post what I've been writing so far. Or if I'm just like keeping it for myself or my side project. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure about that. Um, but yeah... I kind of blocked my own flow because I felt the need to post a lot. That is just wrong, you know? So that was me last month. Like, at the end of last month, starting of this month, before I really took my break and just tried to relax as much as I could despite, like, upcoming exams and maybe trying to learn the stresses on trying <laughs> So yeah, um, my advice, you don't have to follow, but it's just a kind-hearted advice. Don't stress yourself out over posting stuff. I remind you guys, because honestly, that's something I want to work on. Just because like social media has a weird as hack working kind of... Um, Algorithm doesn't mean we have to obey that. I mean, honestly, I don't want that kind of Instagram, Twitter, or whatever fame. If I have read readers who love my writing, that's great. <laughs> I don't. I don't need a big number. Honestly, I'm. I'm I've never aspired that, like big numbers of followers who are just like yes i want to read this come on girl or person continue writing and stuff i'm just like no no <laughs> no if I, if i have people who like my writing who kind of still find a way to keep up to date with what i do even though i barely do anything <laughs> that is great I'm, I'm always impressed about people noticing my posts because I feel like when I, because I don't post that often anymore <laughs> it's just like wow it's blow it's mind-blowing if someone still finds your pieces you know because the internet is just so bombarded with posts and yeah um, I'm actually happy that I got to visit my parents last month, um, because I really needed that break. I needed my mind off of things. It was just for, for four days, um, 
and strangely enough my family and I had done a lot of things like that longer weekend I spent with them <laughs> it, it flew by but yeah if you have fun time flies it's just, it's just like that um, I'm going to visit them again after at the end of next month maybe starting August um, I'm going to stay there for a little bit longer as well I mean I'm technically speaking I'm on a summer break then but on the other hand side um, I still have term papers to write and yeah I'm just going to work on that as well <clears throat> um, yeah I do not know how it's for other people but for me since I started studying like I live away from my parents like it's not that far but it's still far enough um, I just visit them once a month because it's my way of keeping them updated that I'm alive and kind of doing good because I'm, I'm still not great when it comes to texting and updating them on my life. I mean, I'm hey, I'm just a university student. I'm breathing, <laughs> basically. I'm just existing in front of my desktop right now. <laughs> so what should I update? <laughs> Especially as an introverted person who just doesn't like parties. What should I say? Hey, mom, dad, I'm at home once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um about that like i mean the, the um the pandemic is still going of course but lots of people actually in germany get vaccinated still not enough in my opinion but at least we can like make the um how do you call this those restrictions a little less tight and yeah it's just how it is for now but we also have to deal with uh, I just say climate change it's really here you, you can notice um, that strangely for s summer in Germany at least down here in the south it's really rainy like it hadn't been raining so much last year in comparison last year was really hot but these days it's been raining a lot so I'm a little worried yeah but I guess oh, I don't know I don't know what to think about that so if we can do something against it like we can't stop it completely I think that for that point we're just too late but I think we can like push it a little bit back if we take measurement like not measurements but if we take action but I, I just don't know I, I just don't know guys like what to do right now I can't give you advice because I'm still trying to figure out what I can do as for myself so yeah <clears throat> okay but I didn't want to talk about climate, uh, climate and how messed up our world is by now. Um, I wanted to recommend some books. Wait, let me grab it. Oh, grab them. It's two today. Two books. One is a little thicker than the other. So the first one I wanted to talk about, and I talk about this one a lot on Instagram. <laughs> because... Funny enough, I bought that book and I got to know the author. This is one of the great peaks in my life if you get to know the author. Because this is why you also like um, <laughs> support people who are not in the broad like spotlight. Because you still get to know the people and honestly, they are great. <laughs> so... Um, like this one I'm re recommending to you guys is by a great friend and sort of mentor when it comes to writing to me 
Um, it's Sophie Johannes work called Traces. I have the first volume of a yeah tr trilogy that she's still working on. Like technically speaking, it's finished with writing, but she still has to do some editing and <laughs> yeah, I, I just love it. I mean, I read it before I got to know her, so my view was not biased by her as a person. And still, when I read it, I still love it. <laughs> I try to like not intermingle the author with its work, with their work, because it's just not fair, you know. Um, so I bought the book because of a fellow student of mine. Like I uh, said, like she's also an amazing acquaintance. Um, she suggested it to me and I was astonished when I started to read it like I cannot explain it really well I feel like Sophie w has a very vivid way of writing and is describing things um, as I said before I didn't know her until then okay I didn't know her in person um, <laughs> I don't know how exactly <laughs> it's we started a conversation and I don't know that anymore. It's, it's been a while, so. Um, and we have been talking a lot since then. It, it's still great. It's, it's just great. <laughs> I'm still amazed. <laughs> like, oh my god. Whenever I think about Traces or Sophie, I, I just get speechless because. Traces is, a, is really a wonderful novel, and I really need to reread so, it reread it soon because the second part is coming this year, as much as I know. Um, so I can't really wait to know how the story of Aim and Cole is progressing. By the way, fun fact: Cole was the inspira inspiration name-wise for a family of one of my characters, and something I'm working on. I've been speaking about like a different script, not the one I'm editing, but the one I'm still writing on. <laughs> so yeah, taking that. <laughs> um, but not more details about my work, it's just like, when it comes to Sophie, you already notice it in traces, but you you just notice that the author is also a poet and it makes it, it slightly different. It gives you a different feel on how you're going to read the story or how the story is like um, portrayed because I can't really speak about myself because I, I'm still getting adjusted to the title poet. Yeah, somebody said I'm... I'm Oh, not just somebody, but a few people said I'm I'm not a bad poet, but I'm still getting adjusted to it because I'm just like I have a lot of lot to improve. So back to Sophie. Not we are not talking about me today. We are talking about Sophie. Um, so wait, maybe maybe I can read something out of it without giving you guys a, a too big. Sp too big of a spoiler because um, I really don't want to spoil you guys if you want to read it again the links are in my description guys check out the description please it would make me so happy if there are more people who would read this story um, because yeah it's, it's just amazing now this is an excerpt of a poem. I'm not going to read that one. This is not a major spoiler, okay? This is very far at the beginning of the story. <clears throat> Cole puts the notebook in his pocket. Nobody really knows what gravity is, only how it behaves. Like, I, I'm not much of a person who is really like I do like science but I don't like math <laughs> it's 
aka also physics physics is interesting but i can't deal with that i just can't imagine how things work in that sense this 3d logic is just not really there but i love this this like little part when cole was like pointing out um <laughs> that nobody really knows how gravity works but simply how it behaves and i feel like this is also it's just my interpretation okay you can um you can take this meta as a metaphor on people you know take take this information this interpretation as what you want to um because now I'm going to progress on another book which I had bought a little while ago. I had also arrived a little bit ago. Um, <clears throat> it's by, um, it's called Made in Korea by Sarah, I hope I pronounce the last name correctly, uh, Sok. Um, yeah, I haven't read it yet. But I heard a lot of good things about it. Some readers said it portrays well what it's like to be like Korean but also like raised and um, somewhere else. And this also got me really curious. I'm, I'm someone who wants to learn a lot about different cultures. I mean, not just Korean culture. I mean any different cultures because yeah it's it's really interesting and i also got curious because i am sort of a person who like i grew up in germany technically speaking i i, I, I my passport not my passport but my id says nationality german um, however, my father, for example, is from Greece, and I also got to learn a little Greece, like a little Greek lately, <laughs> um, like the beginner, beginner's course, and with learning about this kind of other half, which I hadn't really got to know, got to know um, over the years I've been living here in my life, like living my life, it made me realize that uh, it is complicated. I mean, I'm still European, but some things, even, even if it's just Europe, you know, um, you notice there are differences in cultures, even if it's just minor or differences. You notice that, and like I, I grew up knowing that I'm partly Greek, um, or that at least a part of my family is from Greece, and uh, mostly it's my own fault that I said that I don't really don't want to get to know about that part, because let's say fa my family family's history is a little complicated as in to put it friendly I just don't have connection to the other side um so yeah and therefore made in Korea is really interesting to me I'm I'm looking forward when I get to read it mm, also while we are speaking of Korean culture, um, Jukata Khan's music. No one is going to disagree, right? And as you might know, I enjoy Korean music too. And I do not just speak about like K-pop, but I also speak about rock music and a little bit of hip-hop. Um, like Epic High, for example. I, I would not consider it as pop music because they are rather in personally i i'm not an expert but i feel like they are still rather in the hip-hop maybe r and B. i'm saying it really carefully um 
kind of genre. But yeah, I also listen to pop music, K-pop especially, and though even though this group has clearly its own color, and I don't really want to put them into pop music because they are very experimental and still unique in their own way. Um, I want to talk about Stray Kids. Yes, it's one of my favorite groups of all time, and um, lately there had been a lot of updates, but the last time I, like, when I actually, actually wanted to make this episode um, Mixtape O, aka Mixtape E, I would say, um, was just recently released, and... I noticed immediately, it's not the first time that they played with the title. The last time I noticed that was, for example, with Miro, or like, I hope I say it right, Miro, aka Mire, um, which means child, <laughs> I think. I don't know. My Korean is not the best. <laughs> um, but it's like Mire also sounds like Mirror. This is. It's really interesting, okay? Um, so, <laughs> I was really curious. I watched BMV. I watched it multiple times by now. And I'm just so happy to see that Hyunjin is back. Um, because he was on a hiatus for a long time. Um, which made me upset because it's OT8. And I'm not going to say anything. So, <laughs> short shout out. Even though it's been a while now, <laughs> no, it's not been, it hasn't been a while, but let's say a little bit of time had passed, but I still want to say welcome home, Hyunjin. I'm glad to see you back. I hope you're well and Stray Kids, I hope um, you're having fun, even though you're preparing for the comeback. I'm honestly looking forward to it. Um, yeah, the new album is called, by the way, um, No Easy or Noisy. This is, I just say, they play with words. I love it. I love the play of words they use for titles. So I'm really curious what tracks we're get, getting on um, this album because. <laughs> Yeah, um, if you follow them and watch some of your lives, you might notice that uh, Free Raja is sometimes spoiling a little bit about music they are working on. So <laughs> there's a lot, 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 lot we do not know yet. And we do not know when but it's going to be released. I'm still trying to get my hands on a freaking album because when I, last time I checked, like, it was sold out immediately. It was not even dropped that soon, but it was sold out so fast. And I'm just like, the entertainment, like the company, has to, re has to freaking realize that Stray Kids fandom, aka Stay, the amount got bigger, the demand is larger. So <laughs> please consider that. I'm really scared about concerts. Then they become a real life thing again because uh, getting tickets is hard. Um, I remember that with BTS already. But with Stray Kids, I I wasn't lucky yet, and I've been like I'm 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 a grandma stay, <laughs> you can say. <laughs> so yeah, let's hope everything works out uh, again. Welcome home, Hyunjin. Good luck on your comeback, guys. I'm looking forward. <clears throat> also, um, for everyone listening, I will put the link to the MV and probably to Spotify in the description. Please check out the new song, uh, Mixtape O. Oh, um, it's a really good song. Thank you. Thank you. So, now I've been talking a lot about music. Um, Maybe a different topic. 
I wanted to answer some questions one or the other might want to know to answer this bird maybe know me for a while I mean there are people who know me um, personally I don't know if they are listening if you do hi guys <laughs> it's just funny how my voice in English is a little deeper than in German but yeah okay question number uno <laughs> no one I was not sure which language right now <laughs> I wanted to say Anna but in uh, Greek it would be not Anna but um, Mia no Mia is like oh, it's hard to explain anyways question number one <laughs> Do you have pronouns you prefer? If you've noticed um, on my social media, I've been adjusting my pronouns, but no, I don't. Any pronouns are fine, um, just because out of um, um, yeah, simplicity. I mostly use she or they in English, but if you call me he or whatever pronoun i'm going to be fine with it I, i don't feel like insulted or anything i'm just i see myself just as a human who exists um in german i just i only use she mostly because there is not really a term like they they german does not really have gender neutral terms in a lot of fields so I mean, I think they are working on it, but again, it's it's also with French and um, Greek. You you just don't have really gender neutrality in it. I don't know. It's just how the language developed over the time. It, as much as I got um, language history down, <laughs> yeah. Oops, <laughs> it's been it's been a while. Um, as I said before, I simply see myself as a human, so I don't really have gen like pronoun pronoun pref- preference as a I'm just like yeah, I quote a meme or something I've seen somewhere. Gender is not real. I am just like that's it's a construct. So in the end, we have just. Like, we're just humans. Uh, because, yeah, at the end of a day, or at the end of all of our days, we're just a collection of bones, meat, blood, anything. We're just a living organism. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about this. Um, okay, but I, but about gender, I'm going to respect you for your decisions. Um, if you say, if you say I, I identify myself as this or that, that's fine. I'm not going to, um, just respect, just respect you for that. It's just, I mean, it's your decision. If If you feel comfortable with that, like, I don't want to say labor, labor sounds wrong, but if if you if you're comfortable with identifying with this pronoun, if this feels right to you, that's cool. I'm going to respect that. Um, but I saw, and sadly, I got to know more about it. Um, of a person whose name I'm not going to state. If you know, you know. Um, but what I've seen over on TikTok, for example, just because, um, yeah, we are rather free and we already should rather be free in our choice of pronouns or how we identify ourselves. This does not apply apply to a nationality or like um, ancestry. 
I hope this is the right word. Um, like the background of your family. You cannot change. I don't want to say, say the R word. You cannot change if you're white or not. Or if you're if your family has Asian background or maybe even I don't know maybe your skin is naturally a beautiful chocolate color that's that you cannot make yourself turn into something else in in this regard I try to phrase it really carefully it's really hard for me to not go full on cursing mode because I don't want another ex explicit <laughs> episode or like hands out words but let me say what this person is trying to do because like as much as I got to know he is not Korean he is not but he tries to become Korean. And this is just problematic. Because if your family is... Or, yeah, if your family or relatives are not from Korea. Or... I don't know. Was born in Korea. You're not Korean. I mean, you can marry it may be changing nationality kind of i don't know i don't know how that works actually i guess you can like no i guess if you move into a different country you're still going i don't know how that works really i don't know I, I don't want to talk about like i don't want to talk like i know what i talk about i don't know i i don't want to run into this topic but let's say no matter how much you adjust your uh, body to look like a certain someone, for example, you're not going to be them. You're you. And I, I feel like it's, it's really sad if you try to turn yourself into someone who, who you just aren't. Because it's... <sighs> we don't need clones. On that regard and if you're not trying to learn about the history and culture of yeah somebody else especially if you're trying to change from being I'm sorry I have to point it out from being white into a Korean person <laughs> I mean this is just problematic this is, it's so wrong in so many ways it's not just like um, cultural appropriation I think this is the right, right word right and it's just like it's just so disrespectful this is not tolerant I can't tolerate that it's <sighs> seriously people don't do that don't the person I'm talking about um if you listen, I don't know if you listen, but if you ever come around this to this podcast, let me tell you one thing. If you want to adjust certain features about yourself, that's fine. It's up to you. But do not try to change your entire being into like becoming a Korean person or a person from you know don't this is where are some limits you to a body you can do to them to it to it yeah there's just limits you should not cross and I think this person actually went overboard uh, they they did something and I'm I'm actually scared how 
series this person is about becoming that other person they are aspiring to be. I'm just like, no, guys, don't. Oh, just don't. Please, I get it. I get a headache from that. So let's move on because otherwise I'm going to talk forever about this person and I really don't have the nurse for that. A rather harmless question. Hoodies versus sweaters. Um, I like both. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I prefer hoodies because, I mean, sweaters are really great. They, they You can put on a shirt over it. I can't, sometimes do, but hoodies, they are just, like, they have this giant pocket in the front, you know? And they have a hood. I love hoods. I don't know. I, I just like to put put over a hood yeah and color myself into this hoodie <laughs> it sounds so weird but <laughs> in action it, it's not weird it's just like you adjust yourself to fit into this hoodie even though my hoodies are mostly very giant on me i'm just a small person let's be honest i'm not, I'm not a tall person <laughs> not at all um uh, dogs versus cats. Uh, just like hoodies. I do like them both. Um, I feel, I think dogs and cats are great animals. Um, they are awesome pets, especially if you have experience in keeping either or both of them. But so are others too. Um, I don't really have a preference in th that regard, but I might adopt a dog once I have my own flat despite the dog I have at home it's just it's not that I'm really inexperienced with cats but I I have more experience with like keeping a dog um, or not keeping but I don't know it's a little bit about the body language it's not like I can't learn about cats I really considered getting a Maine Coon as well or a Ragdoll like those big cats <laughs> um, really fluffy um, but from what I like experienced back in the days when I had a cat or oh, like cats like my mom and I took care of cats as well um, I I really need my time to get to know them, and I'm willing to do that actually, but not right now. Right now, I'm not going to keep any pad in my dormitory. It's just there's not enough space, and yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> It's going to be rather soon, I guess, uh, like, so, uh, yeah, close future, but not now, maybe in two or three years. <clears throat> Are you multilingual? Define multilingual to me, because if you mean by that, that I, that my language and where for choice of words is sometimes influenced by other languages, which I, like, got to hear over the years because I mean I'm yeah maybe yes yes you could say that because I'm influenced by different languages even though if I'm not speaking them um, but if you consider fluency in many languages I have to disappoint you I don't consider myself as in multi multilingual it's just like I'm really fluent in two languages languages it's German and English because I've been using it ever since I got to learn the language and practice at least English a little bit more like getting a little bit more insight in vocabs and getting to know new words which is really great it got better <laughs> there is still so much air to improvement oh god this was it, this was English because like a mixture of German and English because we <laughs> We have the same, which that it translates into with air, as in with still space to improve. My French is like I used to be rather good, not fluent, of course not. It's just the French you learn in high school. 
but it died. It's not dead, but I I'm really rusty in my uh, knowledge about French because. I don't use it much and the last time I was in uh, France I rather stick to English because <laughs> it is kind of scary to try speaking French to some to a French person um, unless it's your friend but <laughs> it was a stranger I tried to t communicate because I was just not sure if they know English and I was like okay maybe maybe try but I, and sometimes I have the feeling that native speaking person can be judgmental to you, and I'm just like, okay, I'm shy. I'm yeah, I'm already shy when I first meet somebody and I have to ask them for like help or something. So yeah, um, I until last week I had great lessons. So uh, basically, beginner in Greek. I'm also interested in Korean, Japanese and Spanish, um, however, I just want, like, I'm not sure how much intake of languages I can take, um, so my main focus is just to understand it to a certain degree and maybe speak it at least to a degree of somewhat conversational so that I still can have a conversation but not too deep because it's getting hard um where was I um yeah uh languages um yeah I just want to be able to keep a conversation a little bit going and understand it but I also want to like, with that, I also kind of strive to understand the culture, but I don't strive for fluency. So, the last question we're answering today is, would it be very rude of me to ask what your orientation is? Um, do you mean it as in how good I am at orientating myself in towns? If I've been there for the first time, it's hard. <laughs> If I've been by at least twice, it's a, it's a catch. I, I get my way around. I always like to exaggerate that I'm not good with orientation, but I guess I'm doing semi-good. Semi I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't, like, give um, directions. I can't, because I just don't remember the names of streets. <laughs> Unless it's the one I'm living at. <laughs> but in town, I don't. I, I'm just, like, I have my orientation spots, but they don't seem logical to others sometimes. But if you meant the other type of orientation, oof. Um, I mean, for others it might be rude. But for me, it's just like... I mean, I'm very, very open and very loud about it, actually, yeah. I'm not making it a secret, but I am um, a pansexual but demi romantic person. Um, or demi, demi, demi romantic. Um, it's simply uh, how do you, like for me? It's just like I if I fall in love with someone, it's regardless of their gender or gender identity because for me. I have to know somebody for a while, like mostly it's a friend, it's just the way it is, because I got to know them. Um, for me, personality is the key point, it's most, most important to me, that like, it just works, you know? Also, yeah, and attraction is just, for me, yeah. Gender neutral. I like humans. <laughs> but I understand if somebody else... Oops, I'm sorry, my chair is creaking. I'm, I understand if somebody says, um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It's just... It's very decision. I, I feel like it's a little weird that we have to come out. Like, or that 
we want to come out. I, um, it. I mean, but people just don't accept the way it is. Or, like, I don't understand the people being phobic about certain things. It's just like, why do do they care about it? If you don't understand it, try to educate yourself. It's not a sin to not be heterosexual, but it's also not a sin to be heterosexual. It is just... Yeah, if you're attracted to somebody... <laughs> I think lately it's sometimes a little bit weird, but... I'm just... You like who you like, and you shouldn't feel ashamed for that, unless it's with children. That is... I'm sorry, but I don't know. Nah, just nah. They are minors, they are children, they should not. Nah, Ugh. yikes. <laughs> but otherwise, if it's like legal age, we are speaking about legal age, like tea, if a teenager likes another teenager, if an adult likes an adult, we're talking about that. That's fine. If you end up having a partner, that's fine. If you're ending up heartbroken because they just don't feel the same way as you do, that's also fine. Take your time to heal and move on. <laughs> it sounds a little harsh, but <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's I, I don't, I feel like it's just unfair that people feel like this is so weird. It's not. It's been there ever since existence. Like ever since the first, I don't know, organism has been alive. But back in the days, nobody cared. <laughs> it's just that some people make such a big fuss about it. Because we just don't understand it. And wherefore I'm just saying, try to educate yourself. Because um, otherwise you wouldn't understand it. And honestly, I am not religious, but I got a glimpse into the Bible. If somebody says this is against the Bible, they haven't read the Bible. Because it's not written in there. It. No. No. <laughs> I think it says in English. I, I don't know it. I, I just know the German excerpts. But a little bit. But it says love another. It doesn't mean there is no implication of it that it has to be heterosexual. Just saying. Oh god, I can't see people coming up my throat, but hey. Please, stand back in line. I have other people who will try to... Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> who think I'm rude. <laughs> but I don't care, because I'm just going to be open and honest over here about it. It's just... I'm... I feel no shame in... Yeah. Being attracted to what I am attracted and I don't feel like others should too, too. Again, pedophilia is not, is not, it's not okay. Don't. Put it. No, just, okay, okay. Before I get too deep into shit. Oh, sorry. Into sheets. Um, <clears throat> that was simply a little bit of what I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, alright. Maybe enough about myself. I have another thing up my sleeve. Last thing. Last thing for today. Oh man, it's almost been 15 minutes. Wow. It's an anime called Durara. Um, I can't pronounce ours. I... It, it has been on my wanting to watch list for a while now. Like many of us, I'm not going to lie. 
and I think of watching it. But I don't know yet. I only know a few scenes and it's very interesting. It's really interesting. At least what I got to see and what I heard about it. So yeah, what do you guys think about it? Should I watch it out? <laughs> you can yeah tell me about that via Instagram, Twitter. And once this is up on YouTube, comment down below. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. I see I hear about you or like see you maybe in the next episode. Until then, bye bye.